It was late in the evening when Eli Boschetto and his wife Mitzi pulled into a campground in Northern California's Redwoods. The forest seemed to enjoy a sinister game as chilly coastal fog mixed with campfire smoke swirled through the trees, casting strange shadows in the canopy and undergrowth. Tired, they found a spot to set up camp under the lights of their car's headlamps. In the distance, muffled voices and laughter from unseen campers wafted through the filtered darkness. Focused on getting an early start the next morning, they opted to skip a campfire and went about bedtime routines. Conveniently, the restrooms were only about a hundred yards down the road, a short walk for washing up before retiring. With bag in hand, Eli set off down the black pavement, his headlamp's light reflecting off the drifting smoke and fog. When suddenly, a movement caught his eye. At the side of the road, something stood there looking at him from partially behind a tree. Through the haze and darkness, he tried to discern what the creature was before him. It stood about eight feet in height with dark fur and a large round head and resentful eyes. It must be a bear, he thought, but no, there was no muzzle and no claws and no sharp teeth. The creature cocked its head, looking back. Eli took a tentative step backward to begin his retreat. The creature moved forward slightly, peering angrily back. What was this thing? Time seemed to stand still as the two stared at one another. Remembering his headlamp, Eli reached up to set the light brighter. The light startled the creature, which used its forearm to block the light from its eyes. Before dissolving into the misty, shadowy darkness, Eli particularly noticed that the creature walked off on two legs. Every hair on Eli's arms and neck was electrified and chills ran down his spine. What had he just seen? He scanned the tree line with his headlamp, seeking to comprehend what he'd just witnessed. But the mammoth upright creature was nowhere to be seen. Had he just seen a Bigfoot? It was a sleepless night for Eli, as every creak and crack in their pitch black tent seemed to alert him to the possible presence of this large creature, watching them from the woods nearby. But Eli never confided his apprehension to his wife of what he'd seen as he didn't want her to feel the same anxiety ruining her camping experience. But she knew deep down that something was wrong, but gave him his space to act as protector. <laughs>